Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a faith plan with me in my classic sized happy planner. And before we even get started, y'all, I just want to say that I wasn't completely in love with how this spread turned out, but I thought the message was very important not to share this. So, you know, I'm not I'm not too, too fond of the stickers and things that I put down. And it's because I didn't really have a plan. I just grabbed a piece of washi and grabbed some sticker books and didn't really, didn't really think about like what I wanted this spread to be. But I felt like the message was, the message was too important not to post this. So first off, I wanted to just um, talk about last week. So last week I started a devotional called Grief Survivor and in that grief survivor devotional, it talks about losing someone and it it gives you um, scriptures to go along with, you know, losing someone. So I finished out that devotional this week uh, on Monday and Tuesday, and it really talked about anger. So it's so anger is a part of the grieving process. And basically, I have felt a lot of anger when it came to my dad getting sick and um just everything that happened with him last year I've I felt anger <laughs> and um one of the devotionals had a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. that said darkness cannot drive out darkness only light can do that hate cannot drive out hate only love can do that and I felt like that was really really important for me to see one because it was um, MLK Day on the 20th, on January 20th, and also just the message of that, right? Like, I can't, I can't be angry and expect good results, you know what I mean? I can't be angry and, ex and be able to accept the fact that my dad's gone, you know what I mean? So, I mean... Yeah, I get, <laughs> I tried to clean that up, but I mean, that's basically how it is, right? Like, I can't, I can't still have hate in my heart and have the love of God, you know what I mean? So, um, that's basically it. It's a hard lesson, but <laughs> um, I it's, it's something that is true. It's very, very true. And I also found this quote from the Farmhouse Sticker Book. And it was actually a sticker that was in that sticker book from Dr. Martin Luther King as well. And it said, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. And as hard as it is to get over the loss of someone, it's a process, right? And it's going to take time. And that's something that I still need to remind myself that it's going to take time to get over the hurt and the, and the grief, you know? So... Yeah, I so I put that sticker down because like that sticker says, like that quote says, it's a process. So I, I can't expect it to be, I can't expect to fully be healed, you know, immediately. So that's basically the first half of the week. And the second half of the week, I found a new devotional. I finished that grief survivor devotional and I found a new devotional called To Everything A Time. And I will link both of these devotionals down below in the um, description box for you guys to see. But um, basically, the To Everything A Time devotional talked about how we have plans for our lives. And that's that's great. That's wonderful. But if it doesn't if it doesn't align with God's plans and God's timing for our lives then we have to accept that <laughs> like we we basically have to accept the fact that God has a bigger plan for us and if something doesn't happen when we want it to happen then we just we have to accept it because God knows a lot more than what we know right so that that's basically what this devotional said so in the um so in the middle section of this uh, spread, I put a quote, and it, it comes from that devotional, but it talked about C.S. Lewis, and C.S. Lewis is an author, and he um, he had a quote where he said he cried out to God and got a door slammed in his face and a sound of bolt, bolting and double bolting on the inside, and then after that, silence. So 
he thought that because things didn't work out in his favor and when he wanted it to work out that God just kind of turned his back on him and that wasn't the case right so um and at the bottom, I put, it's okay to cry out to God in our pain. It's okay to express anger. There's a time to weep. God hears us and he hasn't gone away. He just collects up all our tears and he's not turned his face from us. He understands and will restore. And I thought that was a really powerful quote from that devotional. But that's it, you guys. This is how the entire spread turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye.